All right, guys. Got a alliances box here. Let's see what we get. So much easier to open them with my teeth. Salt Heavy Digger. So these are the uncommons. That's the rare, sadly. And these are the commons. So if we hit four so well, it's gonna be in the first three. Every other good card is going to be rare. Besides maybe Limdahl's Vault. Dystopia. I'm not even going to bother looking through the commons. There's literally nothing worth anything. Storm Cauldron. Ah, so there's a few good cards in this set. You got uh, Helm of Obedience. Obviously, you have uh, the uncommon Force of Will. Uh, Lake of the Dead. Dawn Glaciers. That's about it. Rare wise. Oh, Keldron Outpost. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's awful, actually. <laughs> wow, these are really miscut. Oh, God, I hope the rest of the box is on like this. Soul Grail. Thankfully, it isn't. Pillage, there's a thawing glacier. Very nice one, too. Yep, these are miscut. Seems to be every other pack. kind of interesting. Backs are not miscut at all. Usually when you get a miscut, it's miscut on the back as well as the front. Uh, oh, there's a Balduvian Horde. This is from my childhood. It's not worth anything today, but it used to be freaking amazing. Ah, what box am I going to do next? Hmm. Probably another Korean. We'll oh, put those in our own pal. Uh, Korean Saga. And I will not have any more of those left. Man, that miscut so bad. Hopefully we'll get at least two Force of Wills, maybe three. A long, long time ago, I did open an Alliance box and had one, which was awful. You do not want to get one Force of Will in a box. That's just a bad... Oh, man, what am I doing? Just a bad day.
It's an exile. That's actually a decent card. This one's a little off center, but it's alright. Pretty sure that's an EDH card. Where are all the forces? Nobody wants whirly catapults. Jeez. Inheritance. Lodestone bobble. No, that's not bad either. It's a really, really good one too. It's very well centered. It might actually be worth something as well. Ah, uh, back in the day, it was Baldivian Horde was the most valuable card. Force World was like four dollars. There's a force. Back to back force? Okay. Alright. I'll take it. The same stack, too. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's a Limbell's Vault. That's not bad. If we hit three, I probably would have done. Well, you guys wouldn't have been able to see, but I probably would have done a backflip. That's crazy. Two back to back. Another vault. What the heck? Back to back vault. Back to back forces. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm thoroughly confused now. It's all Divi Excavation. Sorry about that. I had to go for a second. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Maybe we'll get lucky and get a couple more forces. Since they were kind of weird. That'd be cool. I've never hit four. I've only ever hit three in a box. Heard people say five, but I've never seen it. Such nostalgia here for me. Ooh, fiddly griff. Still little things in life. Like fiddly griff. I think that was the only hippo until pygmy hippo. I don't know if they made any hippos after that. Halfway through the box now. Not a lot of big rares, but I mean, we got two forces, so whatever. Winter's Night, such a pretty picture. Rob Alexander piece. Recently I heard, I think it was like French, one of those romance language boxes, they uh, actually had Middle Earth cards in some of them, which I thought was kind of crazy. It's part of Yavamai, it's the green version. 
off center pretty bad. Fatal lure. Oh, yay! Yeah. Uh, yuck. <laughs> so bad. So great. I think it's like the third one. Second or third one. Astrolabe, but not that good one. <laughs> yeah, cards are so much worse back then. So much worse. Ash not Silex, yay! Be happy if we had a helm or a lake of the dead. That'd be nice. There's a Kelger and Outpost. That's nice. Pretty good one too. So yeah, it's a really nice one. Storm Cauldron. Yeah, packs back when alliances came out, cards didn't always come out of the packs mint. See it all the time with alliances and I see just okay because it has starters. Most of the stuff that comes out of starters I've seen is pretty nice. That's the third really catapult at least. Might even be the fourth. But yeah, it's like it's not like today. All the stuff today that comes out of packs is gem mint usually. It's you know if you're gonna grade it it's gonna be nine five almost ninety nine percent of the time. Where is this engine? So bad. Wow. Thawing Glacier? I got... Can we get Thawing Glacier way down here? It's a good card. I always loved that card when I was a kid. That card didn't come into play tap, it'd be so broken. Soul Debbie Digger. Soul Debbie Digger was the first card we got. No, I remember. I just don't remember what the second card was. Let me take a look. Dystopia. I don't know if we had another glacier in here. Yeah, there it is. This is the end of a sheet and the beginning of another sheet. I'm a little confused because you usually don't see two thawing glaciers in a box, at least not to my knowledge. Which means we may hit another Baldivian horde. Oh, weird. Splittering wind. Astrolabe. It's not Arkham's, so it's worth nothing. Nature's Wrath. I have not seen, out of three boxes, I have not seen the Lord of Treasure Horn, which is an awful rare. I still haven't seen one. I don't think. I'm trying to remember. I've seen way too many of these ritual machines. Just awful. I mean, it's not that bad. It's actually a decent card. It's 
a black control magic. He has a stack of creature though. Wandering Mage. I really like this card. It's three colors for zero three, so it's awful, but I still like the card. I think the art's pretty cool too. Yeah, it's not looking too good on Force of Will's Sworn Defender. That is the rare, right? Yeah. Terrible rare. Ivory Gargoyle would be cool. That's not a good one back in the day. Gargantuan Gorilla. Forgot about that one. That was pretty cool. It's like a force of nature, but has a sack of forest condition. Instead of pay four, I think. I think it's four for force. Okay, it's been so long since I've looked at those cards. And it's got the other ability where it can deal damage to target creature. Thought Lash, bleh. Harlequin. Pretty terrible card. Oh, Lake of the Dead. There we go. Last and final pack. We get another force. Oh, gold card. Uh, nope, it's a black card. And what do we got here? Oh, it's an artifact. Is it a helm? Nope. God, where we got a pull? I think that's four of them. God, so bad. Well, that's it. That's the end of the Alliance box, guys. Uh, recap. Let's see. We've got a lake. A thawing. Oh, this stop. Oh, there it goes. Culture and outpost. I think we hit almost all the lands. I think we'll pull out the heart. Oh, we did get an RV cargo. Oh, I completely forgot about that. A force. Ooh. I'm gonna start falling. Force. Kaizo. Kaizo. However you want to say it. Uh, horde. Which horde is not worth anything, but back in the day it used to be worth a lot. Some decent stuff, guys. This is actually pretty good alliances box. You normally don't rarely see alliances boxes this good. I mean, the force force of wills could have been better. There could have been more, but key rares can't complain. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy.